Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not date or time specific, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it could be your message at that time. And welcome cross watchers. Happy to have you here. Um, and for those of you who are brand new to the channel, glad you stumbled upon me at this time. No such thing as coincidence. I do hope that if you all enjoy the readings, uh, you'll consider joining us more regularly here on the channel by subscribing below. And then if you don't want to miss a reading, make sure you click the little notification bell so you are notified when new readings are uploaded. I am going to pull here from Oracle of the Seven Energies. It's sort of aligned with the chakra system. Oh, wow, Waking the Lion. You get card 19, one and nine is 10. So we're talking about something is complete. And now the lion is awaking. So let's see from card 19, just the key words for you. Key concepts is boldness, okay. The courage to move forward even without knowing the way. Facing that which is difficult or painful, the audacity to step into the unknown. And the reason why this is so um, auspicious for you here, Taurus, is because as I record this, even though this is not date or time specific, I like to let you know what's happening. As I record this, the moon has moved into Aquarius and tomorrow on February 9th, we will have a new moon in Aquarius, which means the sun and the moon are conjunct in Aquarius at 20 degrees. So there is this boldness and in stepping into the unknown in the sign of Aquarius. Um, and because there are some challenging aspects happening in the month of February 2024, um, yeah, you may need to be a little fierce. It may be about, you know, overcoming challenges. So I like the card for you, even though it is very much um, oriented toward like the strength card in tarot, okay? So um, all that being said, I will be uploading the new moon reading um, on the 9th. The new moon hits exact at, I think I want to say just before 6 p.m. Eastern time where I am um, on February 9th, which is like 3 p.m. on the West Coast and closer to midnight across the pond and other points, it'll be um, on the 10th. So I'll be uploading that reading. Keep your eyes peeled for that tomorrow. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull the spread, give you my general impressions, and then um, we'll get the details from the clarifiers. Look at this. This is the overall energy for your reading. Yes. This is about motivation, a divine gift of inspired passion. It's like spirit is passing you the torch and saying, run with it. Ooh, some passion coming in for you, Taurus. Oh my goodness. So normally when I do this spread, I set the intention. This is Taurus energy over here and this is the divine counterpart for Taurus. If you're here as a cross watcher though and you identify more with this side of the, the, the storyline, that's fine. Just claim what speaks to you. And I have adjusted this spread a little bit. So I'm looking at your present energy, the blocker challenge, what you can do about it or expect to come of it. Okay, so we know we're starting out with like vroom vroom. <laughs> Okay, and the Ace of Wands, there's passion in the house. I'm not surprised to see the waking the lion. For your person, present energy coming through as the Empress, and for you, the star. Mm -hmm. Hopes, faith, wishes being granted, dreams coming true, divine feminine energy leading the way. Um, blocker challenge here with the world card. The world is about closing out cycles so a new cycle can begin. So sometimes we need some closure from something or sometimes we're in the midst of learning a lesson, right? This is Saturn. Um, and when we learn the lesson, it's like, oh, now I get it and I'm liberated from that and I can move forward. So there's a little bit of a challenge for your person with regard to the world and for you, it's like, uh-huh, I'm ready for this. Look at this, love and passion. 
busting down the doors for you at this moment whenever you come upon it but specifically to me here in a very challenging month february 2024 um, i love to see that and i love the positive warmth coming from your present energy now for your person uh in the near future right what can they do about this or what can they expect to come of it well it's kind of a what they can do reach out um they can offer you know an olive branch this is about making peace this is a triumphant homecoming it's a card of victory but it's also a card that says um uh, no no blood was shed no men were lost our kingdoms have made peace let's party it's kind of that kind of an energy so if there's been any strife between you or an outside source of interference between you I feel like what your person can do is wrap up, close that cycle out, and then come towards you with this beautiful gift of reconciliation or meeting in the middle, you know, and just kind of making nice. Because for you in the future, we have the Six of Cups. So what can you do about this Ace of Cups? Embrace it. Because this is past life soulmate energy in the Six of Cups. It's warmth. It's comfort. It's nostalgic especially if you've known this person for a while in this incarnation. If not, don't worry. You're kind of <laughs> traversing lifetimes with this person. Um, this is really beautiful for you, Taurus. Lovely, lovely energy. And even for your person, though, I see their struggle and your blocker challenges. This is the one, but I kind of can't get my arms around it yet because they have something that has to close out. So that's, that's what's coming through. But the passion is here and the love is here. Let's jump in, shall we? Got it. Oh, okay. All right, so. Remember how I said you got card 19 waking up the lion, right? Or waking the lion. Card 19 and one and night is 10 and 10, it, it's done. I feel that's what's happening. I'm seeing the ace of wands as the waking the lion and the 10 of swords is what's being closed out here. Painful ending may not belong to you, but it may have impacted you by proxy. So I feel there's been a very painful situation that has kept you apart or kept it from being a relationship of give and take. I feel it's been one-sided between the two of you, but that restriction or that limitation, Saturn is all about limitations, is being lifted. And this person has you on their mind right here, right now, and your wish is being granted and the dream is coming true and miracles aplenty. As I um, do this reading, as I conduct it, like I said, we're in the dark. Uh, we're in the dark moon as the moon sort of races to meet the sun. Um, but there's an interesting geometry to the planet Uranus, and Uranus is the Great Awakener, is the planet of expect the unexpected. Anything can happen, and probably will. So you can have some unexpected twists and unforeseen developments in the lunation that I'm reading during. Even though this reading, if you come upon it six months from now, you'll be like, oh, well that was then. It still <laughs> enters the space. So I'm feeling something here, a big shift, and this feels like Uranus because the star is associated with the sign of Aquarius, which is ruled by the planet Uranus. So, Miracle City. Okay, so we see now that there's something here, like, um, the end of a painful cycle that sort of gives you the opportunity to come back together um, in a way that feels unified, um, generous, right? Ease, there's ease of flow here. Let's see for your person, the Empress. Ten of Wands, yes. Six of Wands again. And the Wheel of Fortune, which is Jupiter. Jupiter's in the mix for this new moon as well. Um, yeah, divine time. Offloading a heavy burden. This person coming towards you. The timing is right. It's fate. It's destiny. It's good karma. Good karma. Oh my God, I could cry. 
um, the world in the block of challenge. Oh. Mm, good Aquarian energy here. For some of you, this is going to speak to you like as as it's all unfolding with this new moon because the the king of swords is aquarian energy as well there's aquarius in the world card aquarius in the star so this all feels very current to me but the challenge is that this person has some regrets of the past some mistakes that have been made it's hard to close out a lesson when you're still really tied um, to it very emotionally um, but this person is trying to stay very cool very objective, king of swords, very strategic, right? Level-headed. Um, and I feel like, you know, they're preparing to speak. They're preparing to communicate what they've gone through, how they've resolved the situation, even though they have some melancholy surrounding it. Okay? So what that means is hard lesson. You know? little bit of melancholy it's bittersweet to resolve it but they will communicate that to you so let's see in this six of wands going forward how they may handle this mm, temperance a swords tower so they're going to be a little bit um first of all lots of patience that's good the wisdom to know that, you know, in time, everything's going to kind of come out okay, right? All the energies come into flow and balance in time. You know, we don't stay in the shook energy very long before we kind of rock into the calm. And then we go back up. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like they're waiting for the timing to be right on some level, even though I'm seeing signs that it is. Um, they're not going to want to be impulsive. It's self-control and restraint when you see temperance. And then they get a little bit in the head, up in the head. Eight of Swords. Maybe some self-doubts creep in. Some overthinking creeps in. Um, you know, limiting beliefs creeps in. And why? They don't need another tower energy to come tumbling down. So when I pull from the bottom of the deck, for those of you who are new, I'm looking at what's in unconscious awareness and or playing out behind the scenes. And what we've got here for your shared energy, the overall energy is this beautiful connection. And then we get destiny, fate, good karma, good communication, and ruh -oh. right? So this person may be waiting for the time to be right, and they may get up in their head about things because they don't wanna reach out and then have everything come tumbling down around them. So they're sort of concerned. Um, they're going to be concerned because this is sort of what they can do about the blocker challenge. So I don't think they're going to talk to you, Eight of Wands, until the time is right. And that is because they've got this sense of foreboding that if they act on impulse instead of exercising self-control and restraint, they could say the wrong thing. Things could blow up in their face. So because it's coming from the bottom of the deck, I don't take that as seriously as what's from the top of the deck, but at least you'll know if there's like a little delay and your expectations are to be hearing something. If you don't hear it when you expect to, eliminate the expectation because what this person is doing is shoring up their resolve and making sure that they don't speak too soon or that they don't say something in the wrong way or that they, they can't deliver on the goods right they can't deliver on what they what they say they can because i feel like this person is coming out of something i'm not necessarily sure it's between the two of you it could be but it could be something that came between the two of you that this person had to take care of i hope that makes sense if it does, you're going, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, wasn't something I could do. I didn't have a dog in this fight. They had to take care of it. That's what I'm picking up here. And I'm going to apologize in advance because it's lawn day and they're coming around with the edgers and the mowers and the blowers and all the fun stuff. So if I stop speaking, it's because it's so loud in my ear, I can't channel. Okay. So for you, present energy is the star. Yeah the world emperor to the empress 
Very mirrored reading. Okay. So I love this because you're kind of, you're holding on to faith that this person's going to get their ish settled, right? Because something has happened here that leaves you feeling like you got the short end of the stick, that on some level, you know, there's a sense of defeat, right? Like um, an unfair fight. And you're hoping that it's taken care of or that it's being taken care of, that that cycle will close out and the new cycle will begin. And that's what I see with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. But that is something being handled by this person. I feel like you, you're caught up in it by proxy. I'm going to say that in a way that helps you understand that not that it hasn't impacted you, but that you weren't, you weren't the agent of change in terms of like you could not affect change yourself. All right. Change has to happen over here. And I feel like that's what's in progress. And I say progress. Progress is being made, but lessons are being learned. And the thought process is still kind of one toe dipped back into the past and then looking forward to the communication and then being, you know, the timing is important because this person is going to kind of fly back into those moments of, I don't know if I'm going to say the right thing or do the right thing. And I don't need this whole thing to come tumbling down. So the whole thing come tumbling down would be if you end up responding to an energy where you feel like you've been sabotaged or you've been set up or, you know, you were involved in an unfair fight, right? Um, so I love seeing the world here be and, the, and the emperor, divine masculine and feminine, because that lets me know that you're aware of what's going on with them. And you're holding out hope that it gets resolved so that you don't feel... Like you got shortchanged in the situation. And that's why the Ace of Cups is in the blocker challenge position. Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Devil. Wow. So you guys are like um, pretty clear with me here energetically. What I'm picking up is... Right, you're gonna take a stand for what you want. The blocker challenge is this is my this is my person. This is the love of my life. This is my twin. This is my past life soulmate. My twin flame. My whatever. Right? No, no, no. We're supposed to have a long term connection. Build a life together. Life partners. Devil. And in this case, the devil is coming through um, a little bit more as your awareness that something going on behind the scenes here has been unsustainable. That's why your person is going to have some stuck energy recoil a little bit because they don't want to go from the frying pan into the fire. You're already present energy feeling like, oh, hell no, I'm not going to be set up. I'm not going to be played. And then the blocker challenge is there could be some negative karma associated um, with some aspect of your relationship. Karmic partner could be involved. There could be some energy that has been very shadowy. I'm having this is Saturn, too, because it's Capricorn. But Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. And you've got the world card twice as a block and challenge and in your conscious awareness right now. So, you know, Saturn, <laughs> Saturn is the great teacher, the Lord of karma and very restrictive, lots of control, um, sometimes lots of limitations. So there could be a shadowy force that has, um, what do I want to say? doesn't feel like it's necessary necessarily between the two of you, but it's like it's infiltrated the connection somehow. All right. And so, but you're taking a stand for it. You're in the fight. Seven of wands. Let's see um, what you can do about it or expect to come of it is the six of cups. Knight of pentacles. 
There's the strength card. Just so you know, the only card in the deck that overcomes the devil is the strength card. So I love seeing it in such close proximity. And then the chariot. So I do think you overcome whatever this darkness, shadow, energy, closing out the world, shit, whatever that is. You definitely overcome it, but it takes a little bit of time. So um, things are going to plod along. Your, your past life soulmate here, this person, or your twin flame, divine masculine, if you just want to leave it at that, is going to come toward you, but very with lots of conscious intention. They're not going to come until they're sure they have something to offer that's tangible, right? Like that you can say, got it. I can take it to the bank. This is legit. You have made this assurance and I can trust that. So they're moving forward very slowly and deliberately and methodically with a plan, but also exercising some caution. The two of you will definitely be able to overcome all the obstacles, but it might take a hot minute and then poof, progress, progress, progress. Chariot is triumph, um, victory. It's, you know, nothing in the way. Moving forward, full steam ahead. This is an amazing connection. I see with the waking the lion, it's like getting you, your, you know, getting you ready. You know, you're ready. This is you rising up to meet the moment of the challenge because what's on the other side of it is so worth it. So that's what I have for you. I'm going to give you the astrology that showed up here. But before I do that, in the first sentence of the description box below is a link to the extended. And in the extended, I'm going to continue this reading. So if it's resonating for you, I'll be pulling the two of you together and really examining your relationship, your dynamics, um, strengths, challenges, opportunities, what this person wants you to know, what they're picking up from you, what spirit's advice is, what are the hidden energies behind the scenes that you don't know but might want to, and then how things may unfold going forward. That's what we've got. So Empress is Venus. Yay. Um... Venus will be moving into Aquarius around about the 18th of February, I want to say, just in case you're watching this before that date. So um, Taurus and Libra. Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. The world card comes out twice, I said. Saturn, which is Aquarius and Capricorn, used to be the ruler of Aquarius. King of Swords, Aquarius. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. Tower is Mars, which is uh, moving into Aquarius, I want to say on the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Oy. Um, Aries, it's associated with Aries. The star is Aquarius. Do you see the theme here? I mean, like a lot of Aquarian energy, and I'm reading it in Aquarius season. The world again, as I said. Emperor is more Aries. Um, devil is Capricorn. The Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. The Strength card is Leo. And the um, Chariot is Cancerian energy. That's what I have for you. Really interesting reading. I'm heading to the extended now. I'll see you there. Otherwise, have a great one. Bye for now.